Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.4, number 53, and it was asking, how many terms do we have to add before this series has a sum that's less than negative 75? And you could actually try and do this out the long way, right? Because you can kind of start to see the pattern here. So you know you would have negative 1, minus 3, minus 5, minus 7, minus 9, minus 11, and you could keep on going until that sum was less than negative 75 and just counted up the number of terms that would be. But let's try to do it with the formulas. So the first thing I notice is that this is arithmetic. If I look at the terms of the sequence, if I think of these without the subtraction symbol, right? If I just think of this as a list of numbers, I can see it's arithmetic because d is negative two each time out. And I can also see here that a sub one is equal to negative one. So that's why you see me writing this here and then if I use the arithmetic sequence formula, and let me go ahead and do that, I would have negative 1 plus n minus 1 times negative 2. Oops, let me put the negative there. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative 2, so that would be negative 1 minus 2n plus 2, right? And if I simplify that just a little bit more, I would have 1 minus 2n. So you see that expression here is the same one I'm putting here, but it, I just I use the letter K instead. And if you if you wanted to, you could factor the negative out. Some people like to have a positive lead coefficient. Um, I actually do. I, I like the positive lead coefficient, like if I'm using the quadratic formula, but I, I don't need it so much if I'm writing a series. So I went with this form. So basically what I'm hoping for is I want my sum of my arithmetic series to be less than negative 5. And we have two formulas for the sum of an arithmetic series. You have that one that's n over 2, 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1d. And you have that other one that is n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a, oops, excuse me, let me undo that. All right. Give me one moment, there we go. That is a sub one plus a sub n. And so for here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna use this second formula because I, I know a sub one, I know that's negative one, and I have a formula for a sub n, that's one minus two n. So I'm, I'm just gonna play it out that way and I would like this sum, like I said, to be less than negative 75. So if we're gonna use this version, I would have that n over two, times a sub 1 was, give me a second, there it is, negative 1 plus, and we know a sub n is 1 minus 2n, that has to be less than negative 75. And that's actually what you see, wait for it, right over here in this inequality. So as I start to put this together, negative 1 plus 1, that's going to cancel, so that's great. And let me scooch this down, all right, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take negative 2, divide it by positive 2, and that's just going to leave me with this negative here. n times n is n squared. So I'm looking at this inequality, let me erase this now, of negative 2n squared being less than negative 150. All right. Oh, excuse me. I just realized what I did. Um, let me back this up. I did it in a slightly different order. So I was thinking it differently than I wrote it. My bad. Okay, so what I actually did here, I did not Oops, excuse me. Just a sec. Give me, a, I'm having some fun times. Okay, I erased everything I wanted. Okay, I'm back on it. I did not actually divide the twos here. I could have, but now looking at my work, what I really did was I multiplied this two over here. So to get rid of the fractions, I multiplied both sides by two and canceled that here. That's why you see the negative 150. And then ultimately, I still need to divide both sides by negative 2. And keep in mind, when you divide by a negative number, you need to change the direction of the inequality. So I went from less than to greater than. And what I was saying before is if I had been at this step here, so let's say I was at this step, the n, ooh, the n times negative 2n over 2 is less than negative 75. I could have just canceled these and been left with negative n squared is less than negative 75 and divided by negative 1 on both sides and arrive at n squared is greater than 75. And, and that's the same expression I wound up with over here. I take the square root of both sides. Technically, the plus or minus pops in, but really I, I need to take the positive root because n can only be a positive number. And so I get 8.66 
But keep in mind that n also must be a whole number. So n has to be, if it has to be greater than 8.66, it has to be at least 9. So that's why I say there must be at least 9 terms in the series. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.